Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today we will see this simple circuit to test continuity with a sound indication. Our tester works using a 555 timer. It is connected in a stable mode, that is, it produces a frequency of a single tone that is sent to the little speaker. Now, normally, pins 4 and 8 of the timer go connected directly to positive. And if this were the case, it will work continuously. That is, the speaker will sound all the time. However, here we have this PNP transistor. Remember that a PNP only conducts current when the base is grounded. These two are our, our test leads. So, if we have continuity in these two leads, then the transistor will conduct and the oscillator will start working, making the speaker emit a beep. This other transistor is only there to amplify the output of pin 3, which is too small to operate the speaker. Let's now see the circuit working. I made the circuit on breadboard. It's easy to make a few components. And here we have the little speaker. And these are the test leads. So we can see when there is continuity, we have a sound from the speaker. And, as I was telling you before, if we connect the positive to directly to pin 8 and 4 of the timer, we get a continuous sound. So the purpose of the PNP transistor is to prevent the continuous sound and to make sound only when we ground the transistor space. As an example of use, I have this transformer of which I only know that these two pins correspond to the primary, but the secondary has multiple coils. So we don't know which pair of pins correspond to a single coil. So let's check that with our tester. If a pair of pins emit a sound, that means that we have a coil that is connected to those pins. So let's see pin 1 and 2. There we have a coil and one with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there is no sound. So pin 1 and 2, there is a coil in there. Now 2 with 3 and the others nothing, 2 with 4, there you have it, and so on. We can continue to check pairs of pins and in this way identify the different coils of the secondary. Of course, you can also do this using a multimeter in the ohms scale, but a tester like this that emits a sound is more easy to use than checking ohms in the multimeter. That's all for today. Thank you for your visit and see you in the next video.